Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a strength sequence. This is a great little strength sequence that I love to do personally, that I've taken many people through, and it's gonna hit your whole body, all the pieces and parts, that's gonna wake everything up, get the blood flowing, maybe even up your heart rate a bit too. So enjoy this one, and really you're gonna feel your whole body get a workout, and it's a lot of fun. So here we go. Okay, so with any, any strength sequence, we wanna make sure we address the whole body. I really don't believe in doing buys and tries one day and abs and back the next day and legs and hamstrings, whatever, the next day. I don't believe in breaking the body up into pieces and parts. You can do that and people do that, bodybuilders especially, but I like training the body all in one, all is one big unit because that's how we work and that's how we live and, and do our, all our activities in daily life as a unit. So, and also I like it because it doesn't, doesn't focus on any one body part. It really focuses on all the muscles being balanced all the way around the body. And that's what I think every strength routine should, should have as part of the major component. So first things we're gonna do though is we're gonna make sure we do a couple exercises just to get the body balanced, just to get the body warm, and actually just to get the body ready for this routine. And it's only gonna be two quick exercises. For, so first, you're gonna go on your hands and knees, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Walk your hands forward a couple inches, move your shoulders forward over your hands. So your hips are now just slightly ahead of your knees. Let your back sway, let your shoulder blades collapse, and let your head drop all the way and we're going to hang out here for i don't know 30 seconds maybe a minute but you're going to just let your body fall let your back sway notice the arch in my back elbow should be straight not bent head dropped as far as is comfortable shoulder blades drop together and your back swayed all the way let the arch happen and relax your stomach that's important you're just going to let yourself hang for a second Head down, back sway again, lock out the elbows. If you start to feel your arms get tired, that's a good thing. Okay, now you're gonna come up. You're gonna take your left hand, grab your left foot, and bring your left knee in towards your right. Take your hips and tuck under until if you feel a little stretch in the front of that left thigh. We're gonna get the hips loosened up here. We're gonna get your balance going as well. Take those hips, tuck under, pull the heel up towards the, your butt if you can. Gonna hold this for you know 30 seconds again. This is just kind of the warm up. If you're having trouble balancing, take your right hand and grab your right ear. And <laughs> believe it or not, it helps. Okay, let's switch sides. Right hand, you're gonna grab your right foot. And here we go. Right hand, right foot behind you. Right knee in towards your left. Take your hips, tuck under, and pull that heel up towards your butt. Now you might feel that one side's different than the other slightly tighter, slightly looser. Just notice it. Eventually the goal of all these exercises is to get you more even and balanced. Gonna hold this for a sec. Try and keep your balance best you can. Okay, here we go. So, first thing we're gonna do with the very first exercise is we're gonna do just a free squat. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your feet straight. About fist width apart, maybe two fists width apart. Arms in front, drop down. Make sure your knees don't drop in. Kick your knees out. You're gonna put a little arch in your back. Arms level with your shoulders. And feet straight. So I'll just show you from the side. Keep the arch in your back. Chest up, arms straight. You can drop a little lower if you can. We're gonna wake up these quad muscles right off the bat. We're gonna wake them up pretty good. Drop a little lower. 
Arms straight. Upper body up. Try and push both feet equally into the ground. Push them down. And notice it'll kick in your quad muscles. It'll kick in your thighs. Now this is a, a sequence that pretty much anyone can do. And I'll show you the modifications for it. Okay, good. If you want to hold that longer, definitely hold it longer. Next, we're going to do a little bit of some ab work. If you have a pillow from your bed or from your couch, grab it. If not, don't worry about it. But if you have it, it'll help. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your pillow or whatever you have right between your knees. Feet are pointing straight ahead. Hands and your legs behind your head, elbows back. Now this is the important thing here. With your elbows back, you're going to bring your feet and your upper body straight up. Feet are going to come up about six inches or less off the ground. Upper body is coming straight up with your elbows pulled back. And you're going to hold this and then back down. So you're not going all the way up where your head's going forward, your elbows are going forward. No, your elbows are pulling back. You're going to pick a spot above you on the ceiling. You're going to go straight up towards the ceiling. Up and down as you bring your feet up off the ground. Up and down, up and down. Again, you're not going that high, but you're going to feel your abdominals working, your elbows as they pull back, your upper back is working, the muscles in the front of your hips are working, and I want you to really focus now on squeezing that pillow hard. It'll add a whole other dimension to the work you're doing, as you're going to find out. So here we go, squeeze. Now, if you're feeling this in the lower back, press your lower back flat into the ground here. And you can just bring your upper body straight up. And that will be helpful. That should take pressure out of your, upper, out of your lower back. If your lower back's doing great, or if you still just want to keep pressure out of your lower back, press your lower back flat into the ground. And hold that as you bring your upper body and your feet up off the ground. It adds an extra challenge for sure. Couple more. And relax. You can do anywhere from 20 to 100 of those. Okay, and I'll let you choose. Okay, next. Now we've got the hips warmed up, we've got the back warmed up, got the legs warmed up. We're gonna do a few lunges, but here's what you're gonna do. First things first, you're gonna step into a lunge position with your right foot, your back knee gets locked out. So lock out the back knee best you can. Right knee is bent. You're gonna sink straight down, and as you sink, make sure your knee stays over your ankle or slightly behind your ankle. What you don't want is to lunge forward where your knee goes way past your ankle. Not a big deal if it does, but for our purposes here, we're gonna keep the pressure out of your knee. And you're gonna sink down into it, just like that. Now you're gonna interlace your hands together, lock out your hands, straight up overhead. Lock out your elbows, pull your hands back. We're not hanging out here too long, 30 seconds, but you can always hold it longer if you wish. If you want more challenge, go for it. Okay, I'm gonna switch legs. Left foot stepping forward. Right knee, lock it out best you can. Sink your hips down. Doesn't matter if your right knee is completely locked out, just do the best you can, as I said, where you're pushing that knee back. That's engaging the right thigh. Once you're in position here comfortably, upper body upright, interlace your hands together, lock out your arms, straight up overhead. And I would venture to say, to guess, that you're already feeling this left thigh working. We're triggering all the muscles of your lower leg to stabilize while the upper leg, your thigh muscles are having to work. And they're gonna work pretty well. Pull those hands way back. Push those hands way up towards the ceiling. Push your right knee back again. Sink lower if you can. And come on up. Whew. Okay, good work so far. Okay, now, hands me on your head, elbows back. We're gonna do something called circle lunges. 
looks like this, as if your legs weren't already talking to you. You're going to step forward just like you did, but your hands are interlaced all the way. Elbows back. Big step forward into a lunge. Step back. Left foot now. Big step forward. Lunge. Step back. Right foot steps diagonally now. Right foot diagonal step. Back. Left foot diagonal step. Back. Right foot steps straight out to the side, foot straight, drop down, and come back. Same thing, left foot, drop down, come back, and we're gonna do it all again. Three rounds, here we go. Right, back, left, back, right, diagonal, back, left, diagonal. Right steps out to the right, left steps out to the left, and back forward again, right forward, left forward. Right diagonal, left diagonal, right wide, left wide. Let's go one more round just for fun. All the way forward, left, right, left, right out, left out, and relax. That was awesome. Okay. Now, let's make it a little different. We're gonna go on our stomach. We've hit the thigh muscles, we've hit the back muscles, we've hit the stomach muscles, we've hit the shoulder muscles, of course the ankles. We've kind of hit it all, but there's still a little more to do. So you're gonna go on. You know this exercise. I call it a super people. It's not superman or superwoman, it's super everyone. So we're gonna do super people here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go on your stomach, arms straight out in front of you. First, you're gonna start by lifting both legs up off the ground. Push your knees back, lock out your knees. Get your legs up higher. Once you've got that, roll your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Spread your fingers out and raise your arms up. Hold it up. Knees are straight, knees are locked out. Thumbs are up towards the ceiling. Hold it for a few seconds, like five seconds, and back down. Here we go again. Go ahead, point your toes, lock out your knees, lift them off the ground, thumbs up. Here we go, lift up as high as you can go. Legs and hands. Three, two, one, down. Here we go, thumbs up, legs up, let's go. Three, two, one, down. And let's do two more good ones. Thumbs up, legs up, left. Three, two, one. One more, here we go. Push your knees straight, legs up, thumbs up. Really raise up as high as you can go. Three, two, one, relax. It's gonna go on your hands and knees. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You're gonna round your back up, let your head drop, and then back to the other one. Cats and dogs, or cat and cow, however you wanna call it, you're gonna use your hips. Round your back up, feel the stretch in your lower back. Let your shoulder blades drop, elbows straight. Going from one to the other. One to the other. Just a couple more, just let it flow. It's reminding the hips and spine and shoulders are designed to work together as a unit. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm getting a good sweat in here because the sun is in, in here. It's about 75 degrees in Washington, D.C. today. Feet straight, pointing straight up, elbows underneath your shoulders. Take your chest, tilt it up. And now, pick your hips up off the ground, as high as you can go. <laughs> hips up, hips up. We're not going very long here. Hips up. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Now you're gonna go on your right elbow. Right elbow, leg straight out. Thumb up towards the ceiling, and you're gonna pike your hips up in the air. Bring your hips up so your ankles are stacked on top of each other, not staggered. So we don't want one foot in front, we want both ankles stacked, hips weighed up, way up, 
If you want to point your fingers up towards the ceiling, do it, but get those hips up. We're going to hang out right here for a sec. Again, this is hitting the whole body here. So enjoy. It's a good little workout. I'm sweating. That's the whole idea, which is what makes it fun. And relax. Let's go to the other side. So now it's the left arm, legs out, hips up, thumb up towards the ceiling, stack the ankles up. If you want to point those fingers up towards the ceiling, do it. But get those hips way up. Way up, way up, best you can. This is the fun part, right? And we got one more position after this. I know you know which one it is. Lock out your knees. Let's go five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now we're just holding this for a short time, like 15 seconds. I recommend you hold it for anywhere from 15 seconds up to a minute. Build your way up to a minute if you can, if you want. Last position, front position, elbows underneath your shoulders, thumbs and hands shoulder width apart. Go up on your toes, pike your hips up, drop your shoulder blades. If you feel this in your lower back, tuck your butt under a little bit, but keep dropping your shoulder blades best you can. Again, we're just gonna hold this for about 15 seconds. Shoulder blades collapsed, hips level with your shoulders, thighs tight. Tighten up your thighs. Thighs tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. And step on up. Ooh, okay. Almost done. We've got a few more. This is the second to last exercise. It's called walkouts. And here's how you're gonna do it. Feet are gonna be straight, about fist width apart. You're gonna bend down there, you're gonna touch your toes. Okay, if you need to bend your knees, go ahead and bend your knees. If you don't need to bend your knees, don't. But if you're gonna bend down, you're gonna walk your hands out into a push-up position, you're gonna do five push-ups. Shoulder blades together, one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you need to do these on your knees, do it. If you need to go on your knees and do it that way, do it that way. If you don't need your knees, no problem. So, five push-ups, then walk your hands all the way back to your feet without bending your knees. Now we're going into four push-ups. Here we go. On your knees or off your knees, whatever works for you. One, two, three, four. Hips up, pull all the way back. If you need to take a break, go ahead and take a break in this position where you're just hanging out. If you don't, Go ahead and go to three, then of course two, then one, and then one last exercise after that. So here we go, we got three now. One, two, three, hips back. We're gonna go right into the next one. Two push-ups, one, two, hips back. And we got one more. Make it a good one, tuck your chest all the way to the ground if you can. All the way back, let yourself hang, drop your head, and come on up when you're ready. Good job. Now, again, those are called walkouts. I do them sometimes where I go 10 push ups, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can do it 10, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Whatever works for you, build your way up. As I said, when I do it on my own, I usually go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's a great workout, good challenge. Last exercise, the wall sit. Feet straight, about fist width apart. Drop down, shove the small of your back flat into the wall. And you're gonna hang out here. So, weight towards your heels, lower back flat, feet straight. I've gotten a great workout just showing this to you. I hope you did too. You can hang out in this position anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. Don't need to set the record here at all, but just enjoy it. Just feel the, the work in your thighs, feel your body waking up, feel the strength seeping into your body. It's a great exercise. It's also a great exercise anytime for your lower back. If it's stiff, it's a good one. Okay. I think that's around 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna come up, shake it out. 
Just stand there. Notice how your body feels. Should feel a little worked, but it should feel good. I hope so. If you're done, great. Go about your day. I have one exercise for you if you like as a cool down. It's called on your back with both legs up at 90 degrees. Lie down on your back, both legs up on a couch or a chair, anything you have that puts you close to 90 degrees. This is a little low for me, but you'll get the idea. Arms out to your side, palms up, and breathe. Inhale, stomach rise. Exhale down. And you can hang out here for as long as you want. So thanks for coming today. So glad you could join me for this little strengthening routine. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon.